Welcome to another edition of my Fireside Chat. Yesterday was Labor Day, a national holiday to pay tribute to the contributions that our workers and workforce have made to the strength, prosperity, and well-being of our country. And that's certainly true statewide and right here in Cleveland on the campus of Delta State. Today I want to recognize our hardworking faculty and staff at this university, particularly our Facilities Management Department. The Department of Facilities Management is responsible for ensuring that effective and efficient services in planning, design, construction, operation, and maintenance of all of university's facilities and grounds support the academic, research, and administrative functions of the university, while also balancing financial and technical constraints uh, with aesthetic and historical concerns, keeping us really a beautiful campus with great buildings. They're dedicated to providing an attractive, clean, accessible, safe, and well-planned educational environment to facilitate our campus activities and to support the mission and the goals of Delta State. All of these efforts of the department are service-based and the satisfactory customer service is an essential component and goal of all departmental undertakings. That's to say we have a great group here and I'm pleased to welcome today two special guests. Uh, Cecil and uh, Michael, we appreciate very much that you all are here from Facilities Management. Uh, tell us a little bit about, if you will, Cecil, um, the importance of making our grounds here. You're a landscape guy, and tell us about making the grounds look good for our students, employees, visitors, and guests. Well, the one word I'd like to say is just recruitment. You know, uh, we, we try to um, make everything look as good as we can with uh, the amount of people we have. and. But also, we want the, the image of the campus to be the first image that everyone gets to see, and that's a pleasurable image. I read somewhere one time where I think a, uh, per, you know, a perspective, per, perspective student would like to um, make a decision within the first 15 or 20 seconds based upon the image of the campus mm. and what, how they feel when they come come to a campus and I think if everyone's kind of like me they they like to you know feel warm and fuzzy when they when they're walking around campus right and so um, we we uh, use a lot of um, detailed work I call it to make sure everything looks nice and but it's, it's but it's all about recruiting students here and we want everything to look good and we want the image to reflect on Delta State University right. very good perspective Michael, as the chief over the carpenter division, uh, why is it important to keep our buildings up to date, maintained? Well, so I'd like to elaborate on what Cecil said. You know, when a student walk into the dorm, this is where they're going to live. This is what they see. And you want it to be something that they're excited about, something that they would appreciate, something that they can go back and say, hey, mm -hmm. you know, my dorm room has this, and my dorm room has this. I'm satisfied. The parents are satisfied. And then we, you know, just the buildings in general, to, try to maintain them and uh, keep them up to day-to-day -day operation where everybody's comfortable when they come to work in the office and you know just make sure everybody has what they need as far as dorms, buildings, your office, everywhere on campus. Uh, that's basically what we enjoy doing and like to see students enjoy what we do. And it's a never-ending process. I know we have so much deferred maintenance on this campus, particularly in our buildings, that we could use a lot of millions of dollars to fix and you all are always hustling to try to keep it at least where we are. It's the old adage, uh, pay me now or pay me later. <laughs> if we don't fix them now, it's gonna get worse. And so uh, we appreciate it. In both cases, both the building side and the ground side, um, I get a lot of compliments uh, from people who visit here. And as I've told you all mm -hmm. before, I pass those on to you because you're the ones that have really made it happen. And we appreciate that, that very, very much. Tell me, uh, each of you, how would you uh, describe our workforce? The folks who work with you, your colleagues, our colleagues who are making the buildings nice and the campus look beautiful. How would you describe that workforce? Well, you know, I think in, in, in the grounds department itself and throughout facilities as a whole, there's a, a lot of extremely intelligent people there. And my crew, um, you know, they work hard. They, they try to make sure everything is taken care of. Um, they don't mind working, you know, extra hours or put in the extra work to make sure that it all looks good for, for everyone every day. And that's great. They're extremely hard workers. Very good. Michael, what's your take? Well, I think that 
everybody at the facilities, like Cecil said, are very talented people. And they do their job to the best of their ability. And even from the direct all the way down to the grounds. Um, and they jump in and help one another when, you know, time arrives. And if someone is shorthanded, another, per other department mm -hmm. has more than they need mm -hmm. for that particular day, you know, it's not a problem for anybody from the housekeeper to help you do something to the ground person to come inside to help you do mm -hmm. something. And that's what, you know, makes the f facilities, you know, a lot easier to work with, a lot of, a better place to work, and a more friendly place to, to work. Yeah, well it's put. environment. It's kind of like the rest of the campus. Uh, we, I use that phrase, art of scrounge. Sometimes we just have to uh, scramble to make it work and all hands on deck, people are helping okay. each other and that sort of thing. And I, I think we have that special uh, knack here at Delta State, uh, managing scarce resources as we know, because you all are doing more with less. We have more funds available for things like maintenance and grounds uh, now than we did two years ago. Yes. So uh, I, that's a double appreciation for what you all are doing. Um, any new projects or uh, activities underway you might want to talk about? Um, you know, we we're just finished a lot of the landscaping around uh, um, Zegel and Kayla White Walters. Um, we even had some student help to come out uh, to help us with that. And um, we're also planning on doing some um, landscaping around Bailey Hall, around mm -hmm. on the front mm -hmm. far side to it. And uh, also we're going to try to incorporate a little bit of that into to Broome. So Very good. Uh, we have some uh, some exciting projects maybe coming on later on, but for now, that's what we have. Statesman Boulevard is looking good with all the rose bushes and yes, the sir, trees and everything. Um, yeah, well, you know, we put, um, um, I think, um, a lot of lo roses down the, the median part mm -hmm. to it, which uh, has a good look mm -hmm. to it. And, uh, and I like the design of Station Boulevard. It, it's not just a straight squared off road mm -hmm. like you typically would see. In Snakes, right. serpentine, so, right? You know, um, uh, but as far as uh, Station Boulevard as a whole, I, th I really think that that's something we all should be proud of at Delta State. Good. Well, you both made great points about uh, the need to keep our facilities and grounds looking great. You all do a wonderful job. Your crews do. Please thank them for us. And I want you to know how appreciative this university is. And uh, all of the Dell State family for everything that you all do. Thanks for joining me today. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thank you. you bet. In other news on campus, there will be a screening of Eyes on Mississippi on Thursday, September the 6th from 6 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. in Bayoni Conference Center in Broome. This documentary chronicles the life and work of journalist Bill Miner, whom I knew, who covered state and national politics for over 50 years. And he did this through newspaper columns, reporting, race issues, civil rights matters, all during that era of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. A panel discussion with the author and the documentary filmmaker Ellen Ann Fentress and invited professionals and DSU students and journalists will follow. The event is free and it's open to the public and we hope that you'll join us. On Saturday, the Delta State football team will host their first home game. That's against uh, perennial national power Grand Valley State University from Michigan. That's at six o'clock. Please come out and join us for that and help the statesmen on to their first home victory of the year. And as usual, to keep up with all of our events and activities, just go to our website at deltastate.edu. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you the next time on Fireside Chat.